I started out doing street art. Um, I guess it was 2008. And a friend of mine asked me to go out wheat pasting with him one night. And so I was doing music at the time and I was gonna promote my music project. And after a few months of doing this, it was exciting, it was fun, and, and I began to look at what everybody else was doing, and uh, it just started making me think about what I was doing and, and the context of it. You know, what did this picture I was putting up or these words mean? You know, I have years of um, advertising experience as well. I used to work at an ad agency, so, now being the person who is um, looking at the advertising differently, before it was me putting up the messages and then years later it's now me really feeling what these messages felt like to everybody else. So I began to look at the billboards and I began to deface the billboards and change the billboards and change the message on the billboards and put up my own, um, I think, subversive messages throughout town. So that was the beginning. From there, I did a few things that got blogged. Um, people started talking about the words that I was using, desire, obtain, cherish. And from there, a couple of people began to ask me to be involved in some street art gallery shows, desire, obtain, cherish. It's what the billboard tells you. Desire this, get this, you're gonna love it. Only to do it again and again and again and again and it's, it's never enough. You know, years ago I used to think we didn't want to be sold to, like how ridiculous this is. Don't they know who we are? This is crap. They're just paying for this. But then as I got older I realized that no, we want to be sold to. We want to be told that's okay. We want to be told you look fabulous. You know, it, it's, about, it's about me. And so the messages within all of my work somehow or another always go back to this idea that um, something else can make me happy. Uh, with a lot of my work, I use, I try to use things that you're familiar with to draw you in. I'm making art about the people and about who we are. I don't want to judge whether this is good or whether this is bad. I just want to say, in my opinion, that I think this is kind of how we have become. Um, without being a person to say that this is good or this is bad. That's up to us. I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, trying to judge society. I'm just trying to, um, again, show you who we are.